Okay, so this is the final game of our streaming chess season. So from 2019 when we set up the YouTube chess gym, it was with the sole purpose of keeping our chess skills um, developed, staying in the game, seeing if we can progress because at the end of 2018 um, we'd started to look at taking chess a little bit serious and at the back end of 2018 we actually won a tournament and then obviously lockdown kicked in and the progression stopped from them playing over the board so I thought well we'll start this uh, YouTube thing and we've always with the promise that we'll go back into the OTB because I've played online for so many years I really wanted to get playing um, over the board um, so once we started that then obviously lockdown kicked it back in so we put, came back home again playing online which we were used to doing but we knew that the reality was that over the board is different to own online play but we used it as a training ground to I'm not focused one second uh, used it as a training ground to develop our skills with the answer process and all the concepts that sit within the answer process and I think as we've proven to ourselves um, it has actually worked because we have actually done okay in the tournaments that we went to the unrated tournament uh, the rated tournament uh, so um, sorry yeah the rated tournament and also the league match as well so it has shown that uh, we can do it for real and we have improved our skills within chess and I've really enjoyed the development going forward so we are now going to be taking a break and we'll be back in December sometime for the festive season and I need to focus on this game now okay so we might have messed up if let's see so we can push through the center here because this pawn is protected by this knight so we're looking to basically exercise the knowledge that we've got within this last game here it can be messy it can be scrappy but so long as we get hopefully some type of advantage uh, we care not maybe looking at blocking off the opponent trying not to focus too much on you know the tunnel vision really expand on the tunnel visions and because that's an additional type of calculation it's not calculation in its own right so stopping this off here we can take the pawn if his bishop takes the knight then we take and can get a bit messy can't it could castle he still takes anyway it's going to open up the pawn let's just take the pawn and keep it simple we're on his knight don't forget but i think the bishop's going to take first oh lucky 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 he doesn't take first that's interesting so now both of my pieces are on the back if i take with the knight then he's going to get our pawn here if i take the king here then he's going to basically well actually he's going to do a queenside castle isn't he so i'm going to have to come here what's the benefits then is he going to get like a double whammy on me looks like I'm gonna to have to go for the king and suffer the consequences oh it's um, taken okay let's go there I'm ready to move the king let's get the king out of the way or is he gonna panic about his knight he's panicked about the knight so he's blocked the passageway for the rook so fingers crossed maybe we can make something of this develop the bishop or push the pawn I think I like the idea of the pawn supporting rather than the bishop supporting but the bishop does have attack area here um, I need to be thinking about king safety as well I think the more pieces I've got out the better and then I can just move the king here get the rooks linked up because the pawn move would have just kept the bishop on the back and would be ooh, he's attacking everything it's going to double the pawns on this side as well okay so we don't have a problem with pawns being doubled at all could come here look to defend the knight but i think 
maybe the knight's going to go here let's go up and defend the knight we're linking up the rooks then we can push on to here is he going to just move his knight get a check on the king we don't know but we shall see i think he's probably queenside castling so that this rook is facing here because then if we do push on oh he's not doing any of that but my king is going to be in the middle of the board isn't it <laughs> that's a bit scary isn't it oh that's a bit scary 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 i'm gonna take it anyway i'm gonna take it anyway get the king in the middle of the board maybe move this up and move it back down but he's coming in now all right okay let's attack this unprotected knight at the moment and he's not wearing them apples at all is he so let's go here and then oh do you know Bit too fancy for me let's go here rather than attack because he's looking to attack here put a check on our king uh, but, but, but if we take his own in the file uh, if we just bring it here then maybe the bishop comes down yeah okay let's do that keep it simple it's the dance of oven in the file that's always been one key thing throughout all of the games that we have played where the rooks are involved it's definitely about the understanding the dance of the um, rooks who wants to own the file he's actually brought it down so i'm just going to take here these pawns are protected at the minute where's this knight really lusty it's not got much space to go anywhere has it um Do we go here like this, looking for the cheapy? But he's just going to push down the other pawn. Is it a waste of an energy? Let's go for it anyway. It's cheap, but maybe it might work. Looking for this thing here. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I think all they'll do is just do this. So we can still come here with the rook anyway, if that happens. Oh. Yeah, well, we're not going to take now because he's moved the king out of the way. Has he caused some damage there? Okay, shall we attack this knight now and see what he actually wants to do? He's going to come back up and just attack the pawn, isn't he? Yep. Okay, let's do that. And then this time, maybe we can push the pawn this time to support. Oh, he's um, tripling his pawns up. Oh, it's funny though because I saw a recent game. I think it was in the candidates, the U.S. candidates games. Um, oh, was it Ray Robson or somebody? And it got like triple pawns on this same file as well, and double pawns on one side. But I think it ended up being a draw anyway. It was fantastic. <laughs> um, so we're going to take. but he's going to own the file and I really want to get my king up here to attack the pawn so if we bring this rook here first to see whether or not we can own it and then look to bring the it's attacking our pawn so we maybe can block here but it's going to challenge here uh, we've lost that one um, let's go with the king see if we're fat this is not a blitz match we have 39 minutes they've got 41 minutes so i don't need to move fast i don't even need to think fast just need to find the appropriate moves so this is where finding your own calculation and he's bringing his king in let's go gotta be mindful oh we have a fork with the little pawn fantastic oh dude Oh, that's got to be it, ain't it? Okay, let's grab. Still playing, huh? Okay, let's go for a queen. Whoo! Now, that's a, quite a nice one to actually finish on, isn't it? Queen, putting the check on. And don't over-egg it now. Could take here with a check. It's offered a draw. I don't know if I'm accepting a draw. I'm, you know, I'm a kind guy, but 
there's limits really isn't there and uh, so he's just going to go bouncing upwards uh, blah, 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 maybe but then he takes the pawn doesn't he don't want any stalemate shall we go here or shall we just take uh, let's go here Um, put a check on. He's escaping. It's going to get my pawn on the bottom. That's not right, is it? We can still move these pawns, no stalemates. And that must be it, mustn't it? Excellent. So the enjoyment of chess um, really is it's improved tenfold for me since coming on 2019 and so we've been on for a long period of time we've created quite a bit of content for ourselves um, I've treated it like my own personal diary you know my own personal vlog of de de uh, developing how I'm looking the mindset of the game the psychology of it all and just really putting in the practice and putting in the hard work and it's been really enjoyable but I think it's time to just take a little bit of a break I'm going to go and do some studying um, I've got a few books to go through I've got a few um, lessons to, that I've designed for myself and looking forward to actual physical next year uh, January onwards uh, in between that time I might be playing um, some well a competition and I might be playing maybe the odd one or two league matches as well so all in all, I'm very happy with the progress that we've made. Chess Jim out.